Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Tommy, also known as on this channel, Red Band, and I am here with the Loud Penguin as my guest here and a member on my realm. So be sure to check out my realm. If you want to join, comment down below and be sure to check out Tommy's Puppet Lab and Puppet Guild as well as Puppet Master Academy. And we are going to be building ourselves a luxury town hall and we're on our way to the site location to start working on it. So come watch with me and I'm gonna give you a full tutorial on what we did here. All right, so join me and Penguin as we start building the Luxury Town Hall. All right, so we're gonna get started by doing some uh, landscaping. So I'm just gonna remove this tree with the shovel. <laughs> You're supposed to use the ax, but I didn't have one and I was too lazy at the time. So I'm just gonna use the shovel for it. And besides, it's just about broken, so who cares? <laughs> I mean, this is my realm, my rule. I can do whatever I want. If I wanna harvest trees with a shovel, then I am gonna harvest a tree with a shovel. Okay. And while I'm holding the shovel, we actually need to dig down a little bit because we're going to be adding some water to this uh, town hall here. And I am not working alone. I have some help that will be joining us very quickly here. So, and yeah, there I had to fill in some creeper damage. We have a lot of creepers. We need to get some more cats out here. But yeah, so uh, right, right now I'm just going to be uh, clearing some space, just leveling the land. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, and somebody named that shovel. Uh, yeah, the screaming shovel, we'll call it. Uh, I'm not sure who did, if it was Lefty Awesome or if it was Penguin. So there's my help. And he will be, uh, joining us. And Lefty Awesome will also be helping us for a short little while. But yeah, there's my screaming shovel. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I'm just going two blocks down. And so that's Lefty Awesome onto the uh, left there. And this is their first task. So they're going to be helping me out with this. Both of them. Okay, so now I'm going to be using some oak leaves for the pillars. So I'm actually going to go eight blocks high. I'm just marking them and I'm going to help my helpers uh, help me out with here. But I'm just going to mark where I want to have these uh, pillars. And I'm just counting here and I think I'm going to just going to mark them after. Let's see here. So I decided that was just not in the right spot here. Okay. So we're going to just, uh, okay, so I'm going to count here. Uh, I think I'm going to go four blocks in. So that's one, two, three, four. So yeah, so five, so it's a fifth block. So four blocks in is what I'm going to be doing. So I'm just marking the pillars before I start stacking them. So as I am stacking it up, I realize that we have another potential hazard is fall damage. So since we are actually adding water to this, I'm just going to add it now. So that way we can jump up and down without taking any fall damage. And it, 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 it does not need, it only needs to be one block high with water to prevent fall damage. So we do not have to have it perfectly level. We'll worry about leveling the water later or unless you want to do it now, that's entirely preference. 
I understand maybe some of you might have OCD and that might be driving you a little bit crazy so I perfectly understandable but that's preference at this point. Right now we're just worried about getting the pillars in without uh, you know dying. <laughs> Which is something I'm very good at in the game is dying, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do this project without without um, getting killed. So originally I was going to use spruce for this, but we're going to use oak. And in my opinion, I think oak looks better than spruce. So we're going to be using spruce next. And we will be using spruce slabs. I mean, did I say spruce? I meant oak. We'll be using oak slabs for this. All right, so we're using oak slabs, and we're going to be uh, joint. We're going to be stacking them on top of the pillars. We're going to form our shape, and yeah. So we're going. To, we're just building the floor here, and we're going to get the shape built. And this one's going to have a little bit of a a small uh, walkway, I guess you can say, kind of like a bridge. Alright, so the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding the stairs and that way we can get up and down safely. And I will be using oak leaves uh, to, to help build the stairs and we're going to leave the oak leaves on. And of course we'll be using the oak stairs just until we reach the ground. And then for the bottom, I'm going to be adding, uh, I guess a deck, we'll call it. Uh, kind of kind of like a dock sort of deck because this is also going to have be surrounded in water. So this will be a big step and this will be using a lot of planks for this. Okay, and just a little more landscaping needs to be done. So I'm just going, we're just going to have it uh, expanded out a little further, just a little over my vacation home. And of course, Penguin is helping me. Uh -huh. And you have no idea how frequent these phantoms have been because Penguin refuses to sleep. So <laughs> apparently he likes it. So hey, I won't rob a guy of his, uh, of his uh, chances for experience, <laughs> or his chances to uh, brandish his sword. So there you go. Have fun. 
and just gonna build some, uh, gonna put some planks up where we're going to fill with water because this is going to be a little, a little pond, kind of like a loading dock here since everything's gonna be over water here. All right, so the the stairs are going to be decorated with trap doors just on the side. So we're going to get the stairs decorated. And uh, we're just currently waiting on sandstone. Snook is going to help us with that. She is going to deliver from her desert base. And as of right now, that location is currently a secret. So I can't show you. And we're just gonna garnish this uh, bod bottom bit part of the uh, town hall here, the entrance. That's what we're gonna call it. Yeah, it's the entrance. Okay, now we're gonna start the first row all around with cut sandstone. Now as you can see, it is it is raised up a bit so we need to put another oak slab on top of it because it will not sit on half a half a block. It'll, it'll just float up in midair, so you'll need some slabs for that. And then we're just going to put all around just one cut sandstone. And I'm actually going to leave some spaces, some gaps, because we're going to put glass in it. Because we want to have a really nice view. And I promised a nice view and this is how we're going to, this is how I'm going to deliver. Okay, and Penguin actually just noticed a, a, a bit of uh, inconsistency. One of the sides are not even with the other one. So, because he pointed that out, I'm going to fix that. And now I'm just going to add a little decoration, some barrels. Add a very nice touch to this type of theme. And I'm going to put a chest just right beside the oak plank. I'm just going to make one right now. And we're going to just have the chest right there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Just going to add a... Uh, just gonna ex extend the entrance bridge and add some safety railing, some a fence to it to make it safer. Don't forget the doors. I we'll need to have doors in this building, and I'm using oak doors for this. All right, and now it's time to add the glass, and we're gonna we're gonna go about three blocks high, but actually we ended up going four blocks high. We're just currently waiting on some more glass, but this is what I'm doing right now. All right, and on top of the cut sandstone, we're going to add regular sandstone, just two blocks high of the regular sandstone like that and we're just, again we are using regular sandstone not cut sandstone and we're going to keep adding some more glass after that and 
on top of the regular sandstone will be sandwiched with another cut sandstone. So one sandstone on the bottom, two regular sandstone on top, and top it off with another cut sandstone. And on top of the cut sandstone, we're going to add some oak planks. This will be the last layer of oak planks that we're going to be using. All around, just like we did at the bottom. And we're going to fill the inside in with oak planks. We're going to make the roof now. Alright, so now we're going to use sandstone stairs and we're going to go all around the roof. And we're actually going to do this two times. Okay, and then we're going to be adding just some filler because we're going to be adding another set of steps right on top of the dirt. So it's going to close in a little bit. So it doesn't matter which, actually it's recommended that you use sandstone because with the steps you can see just a little bit of material sticking out. So it'll look a lot better if you use sandstone for the filler. And the reason why we're using the filler is because you, we don't want any mobs spawning inside your roof. Then I'm going to be lining the top with moss blocks. And in order to do that, well, Snook is going to show us how. So basically what you do is you get a moss block, put it on near dirt or uh, grass, and then you add bone meal to it. So what you do is you, you just dig up, okay, she's going to be digging it out. There's one moss block, and they add some bone meal, and there's magic. Ta-da! And now you have not only grass, but you also have some... Yeah, so you have actually quite a few materials you can work with, but you have lots of moss now, and this will look really nice on top of the roof. So you just dig out what you need, and if you need more, just bone meal more. That's all you gotta do. It's very easy to get. Okay, so back on the roof, I'm just gonna be covering up all the fillers with moss block and then you can use grass block as well and once you, you just put one grass block on soil and it will spread okay we're going to be building two trees on top of each okay we're going to add one tree to each roof <coughs> so we're just going to cover it around with soil all right so i'm going to start building my tree not the penguin! Uh, okay, well anyway, back to work. So I'm actually using oak logs to build the tree. So this, this is going to be an oak tree. The tree is entirely preference. All right. 
right, so now we're going to be adding some fins to hold up some, we're going to be putting some uh, cut sandstone on top of this fence. And we're going to be adding some more uh, dirt on top and this is where the other tree is going to be put on. So it's going to be raised a bit more. Okay, so this is what I meant by when, when we had the filler and we have all this, yeah, that that's just kind of showing because we're using the stairs. So that's what I'm doing, so I'm chipping them out and I'm replacing it with, well, actually this should be regular sandstone stairs, but I'm I'm just uh, using cut sandstone for it. So it'll work, it'll work. It's not noticeable, but you should keep it consistent. Building the second tree now. All right, so now we're gonna start filling in these uh, water pits and we need to level out the water on the, uh, in the big pond. Now I'm just going to be adding the stairs and just making it easier to get up instead of having to jump all the way up there. We're just going to add some stairs. Hey, and in the big pond, just underneath the town hall building, we got to light it up and I will be using glow berries for that. because they provide some very good lighting. And if you want to light it up immediately, use bone meal and you will get berries that will provide a light source. Right now, Penguin's just leveling out the water, doing a very good job at that as, as well. And I'm going to be adding some vine to the leaf pillars that we built. This will give it some uh, this will make it, them look a little thicker. So Penguin actually went and got some added some tropical fish to the pond which i think was a, was really good I'm, I, I actually like that it's great and fish can definitely add a dramatic um effect when it comes to uh aquatic landscaping and all that is left to do is the inside and i will be doing and then that's what I'm working on right now. So I'm adding some chairs and a table where the council will have their meetings. So I just had a, I just need to put some spruce slabs on the bottom. Then I'll be adding some spruce slabs on top of the fence posts to make a table. I'm gonna have some barrels there. We're going to have some pottery, some flower pots is what we're going to be adding. And we're going to be making some pottery as well. Because pottery can add a very good effect for decor. And of course we got to have some light source, proper one. Lanterns look nicer than torches. Got to make sure it's well lit. We don't want any mobs spawning in. Just raising the floor a little bit. 
I got Penguin helping me. And instead of the pillager banners, I like the banner idea. I'm going to use his idea for banner, but I'm going to have red ones. They're going to kind of represent the red bandana Charmander's wearing, since this is technically my realm. So we'll be using red banners. Since they, they kind of look like bandanas. And this is actually going to be a suggestion box. Where people can come in and leave their suggestions. That is way too dark. No one's going to be able to read that sign. So I'm going to use a... My inventory is so full. It's, uh, it's unbelievable how full the inventory is. There we go. Suggestion box. Just adding some fence posts just to... I don't know, just give it some character. I'm just throwing some junk away. It's just ridiculous how much I have. And we're going to get those uh, banners up. And Peng Penguin actually added the trap doors, which was, I like. We're going to keep that. Yeah, so now we're getting the red banners up now. Instead of the pillager banners. Because we're not pillager friendly. <laughs> Alright, so our banners are now up. And here's the final result. Let's take a good look at this place. I'm going to definitely take some screenshots here. But here is what you should have. Now you can see that the flower, I added some flowers on the top and some glow berries to add a light source. So it just kind of randomized the flowers a little bit to make it look natural. Just kind of play around with it, you know. Yeah, and I added, also added some grass. You can add some grass by bone meal. Just regular grass blocks. Yeah, so you can see the fish in the bottom and the bushes around the pond with penguins idea, which is absolutely brilliant. Looks great that way. I'm actually really happy with this town hall here. So there's the inside. Added some bookshelves as well. We are just missing some candles, but we don't have access to that just yet. And the glow berries have both grown quite nicely and same thing for the vine. Again, love the bushes that there. Fish look pretty happy there. I might, I'm, I'm probably going to end up decorating the fish pond a little bit. But this is what we have. It's, it's really nice. Uh, we're going to take a look at it with the light at night time. They'll look really good. Alright, well thank you so much for watching that. I hope you enjoyed that video and be sure to subscribe and don't forget to check out Tommy's Puppet Lab and Puppet Guild and as well as Puppet Master Academy. I'm, if you want to learn how to make puppets like me, my main channel Tommy's Puppet Lab, I make video game characters into puppets and ventriloquist dummies. I make scary videos and I post tutorials on there as well. So I've got lots of tutorials. This is just one of them. Yeah, this looks really good at nighttime. Oh yeah. That is looking absolutely fantastic. Look at the nighttime effect there. It's just so well lit up and it just adds so much life. It's just, it's just so lively. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, this was all built on survival mode on my realm. So if you wish to join my realm, be sure to comment below with your username and I can add you. We want to see this realm glow. Glow. Yeah. <laughs> this realm is glowing. We want to see it grow. And we want you as, as part of it. Help us make it grow. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. All right, well, you've had a final look around here. We're just going inside here, and we're just going to enjoy our new building. And thank you, the Loud Penguin, and even Lefty Awesome, who helped us uh, with the prep. Yes, Lefty Awesome. We're going to credit him for the prep work. So thank you very much, Lefty Awesome, and especially thanks for the help, Loud Penguin, as well as Snook8. You have actually... Uh, You've helped. You've helped me out too. I mean, even though I mean, even though uh, we did most of the work, but you you had some good suggestions, so I really appreciate that. 
And yeah, if you're inside, just in the nick of time because now it is starting to rain. We got a thunderstorm out, so good place to be right now. Nice and cozy in here too. You know, yeah, and we have a very nice view. Look at that. We can see the going merry from here. Looks great. So you want to know what shader I'm using is Astra Lex. So be sure to check that out if you want to have the same shader that I have. And, I, and we will see you all next time. Bye bye.